Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Praise the Lord. It is another day God has blessed us with. So let us bow our head in the word of prayer. Yes. Father God, we come before you this morning. We say thank you again for a new day, Father. Yes. It is you that have allowed us as we took our rest on last night, God. And you took care of us and protected us and woke us this morning, closed us in our right mind. And here we are again this day, Father. We bless you and praise you. We worship you. We call upon you, Father, this morning, Lord, that the word that you have given us, Lord, to, to give to your people, Lord, that it might be received in Jesus' name, that they might take your word and digest it and grow thereby into giants in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. Praise, Praise God. Lord Jesus. Your pastors James and Lorraine Frazier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I trust that you had a blessed fourth, happy fourth of July. Happy fourth of July. Yes, yesterday. Yes, <laughs> yesterday. Anyway. Well, how many know that we have been ordered to wear the mask by the oh. governor? So I don't know what kind of mask you got, but anyway, you know. Put your mask on, Pastor. You know, <laughs> we ain't we're not six feet distance, so you know All I don't right. want to catch I don't want to catch on, no judgment. Amen. Maybe I had Well, you know, you sort of look cute in it, but anyway. <laughs> 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 this morning my topic is take the mask off. You can take the mask All off, right. Pastor. <laughs> you may be saying, What in the world yeah. is she talking about? Not the mask that the governor ought to us to wear. <laughs> But take the mask off. Yeah. See, sometimes in life, we, you know, we put on a mask because we're trying to please people. You know, we go to work, we're trying to please, please people. Try, we get in groups and sometimes, you know, we try to please our parents. And sometimes we have to take the mask off, you know, and say, who am I? Am I yeah. you're trying to please yeah. everybody? You got to find yourself. So who are you today when you take that mask off? Who are you? You know, uh, are you a, a man pleaser or what? The scripture says in... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, let me see. It says in uh, Col Colossians 3, uh, verse 22, it says, Servants, obey in all things your master according to the flesh, not with eye service, okay, mm -hmm. all man pleases, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as the Lord okay. and not unto men. Knowing that the Lord ye shall receive the rewards of inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. So we shouldn't be man pleasers. You know, when we start being man pleasers, that means we got a mask on. We don't know who we are, so we need to take that mask. When you get home, take that mask off and look in the mirror and say, "Who am I? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to please this person." But look in the look in the mirror and say, "You know, am I a child of God? Do I carry the DNA of Christ Jesus?" You know. Do, do I act like a Christian or are you still in that old flesh? You know, see, when we serve, when we serve in God, walking in the spirit, you got love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness. Now, that's mm -hmm. the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. But sometimes we get into, you know, the old flesh, you know, we in strife, angry, arguing, just bickering. That's the flesh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So I ask you today, who are you when you take that mask off? Yeah, yeah, we are. You know, even Proverbs 28 and 13 says, He that cover his sins shall not prosper. Yeah, yeah. But whosoever yeah, confess right. it, own up to it, admit it, and forsake it, shall have mercy. Yeah. You have got to have mercy on you. Okay? You're going to have to own up to it. That pride, if, if that pride, are you covering it? What happened is nothing but pride, and pride is an abomination to God. Yeah. Right. You're not going nowhere with it. You, I don't care how it looks. I don't care who you're trying to impress. You are not going nowhere. You end up to a, a dead end wall, right? You know, sometime in life, you know, we, we pretend so much trying to please men and that. You know, sometime I, it's a movie I saw where I used to call Dr. Uh, Dr. Jacker and Mr. Hyde. Anyway, you know, with uh, Eddie Murphy in it, mm. the professor. He was a he was a, a fat guy, and so he created something. He was a scientist. He created something. So when he drank it, he actually got slim. Mm -hmm. But when he got slim, his whole personality changed. Mm -hmm. So I ask you today, you know, are you a different person when you come home? You know, uh, do, the, do your family not know who you are? Are you nicer to the people you work with than the people you know in your own household? Mm -hmm. And you know, as 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 women, sometimes you know, I, I think back. You know, when you're, when you're dating 
you know, we got, you know, women know how to have this sexy voice and answer the phone. Hello, you know, <laughs> you know, you start dating, you're doing everything right. You're putting on the right dress and everything, you know, you just, I don't know if you're yourself or you're just making up somebody, got a mask on, you know. And then all of a sudden, he puts that ring on your hand, you get happy, you know, you start planning that wedding, and he thinks you're the sweetest thing he ever seen. After the honeymoon, well, I'm going to give you, I'm going to at least give you one or two years. He wakes up and say, who did I marry? Because you don't took the mask off. Honeymoon is over. She's grumpy, she's nagging. What? what, what? What happened to that sweet woman I married? She took the mask off. Well, I ain't gonna leave the men out. Now, you know the men, they winding down or whatever, you know, however it started out in the beginning. And he just loved, he just loved that woman. Can't do it without her. Everywhere he go, he's holding the hand, you know. Then he marries her. Okay, one or two years down the road, he takes the mask off. She can't get him to do nothing. <laughs> when they go out together in public, he's walking in front of her. I don't know if he don't want to know that she's his or he's checking the other women out. You know, he got his shades on. <laughs> but anyway, he done took the mask off and he's like, who did I marry? First of all, I want to say this. When you decide you want to get married, you better talk to God. Get on your knees and pray. Lord, is this the right person for me? Because you didn't marry the right person, you're gonna wake up one morning and say, Who are you? You don't take this mask off. It might be another person. But anyway. <laughs> now, do I fit that criteria? No, you I think you I did pray for you when I got married. I don't know. Did you pray for me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In spite of all our mishaps and sins, thank God that's what Jesus went to the cross for. Yeah. yeah, well, you're gonna have to pray. We'll have to. <laughs> he say he prayed for me when he's in fact in the fifth grade now. Was it fifth grade or fourth? Fourth grade. So <laughs> I reckon his prayers answer. Am I what you pray for? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because <laughs> I have taken the mask off. I'm trying to be yeah, myself. Well, I but you know the mask off too. <laughs> too much compassion and repentance. <laughs> <again. laughs> oh, you know, I wrote a song one time. It's called Mirror Mirror on the wall. It never <laughs> lies what it see. Mm -hmm. When you look at the image of yourself in the mirror, tell me, who do you see? Mm -hmm. Do you see the image of God or do you see that old man? Mm -hmm. When we walk in the spirit, we, we will die to the flesh. Put it on that new man, we will be like God. For God is love. Mm -hmm. See, when we walk with God, we don't have to worry about putting on an image or, you know, going to work, trying to please the people, you know, uh, you know, we got our groups going to church, trying to prove them, you know, we, mm -hmm. we, you know, we come to church, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and then you get home, on your way home, my name ain't talking to your husband or whatever, you know, then got in a mood, mad about something, and, you know, <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you the story, just came up, but I'm talking about, you got to be yourself, and when we first got married, I can't believe I'm telling this, but anyway, you know, like I said, I had just gotten married. My husband was a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> and he ticked me off that morning for some reason or another. I can't remember what it was. And he she said, was upset. <laughs> he said, the mask could come off, y'all. He said, I'm ready. I'm going to get in the in the car. Well, I didn't like that either. It was like, oh, you're going to get in the car. So you know what I did? Women, I just took my time. I got even slower. I thought, well, we'll be late, we'll be late. But see, that was that was that old flesh trying to come out. See, you have to you have to get in the word, put on that, put on that new man. Be like Christ. Christ is love. So you know, that was a long time ago. I don't do that no more. And wonder who did it hurt. Who did it hurt? And think about it, all right? But, but we have to get a balance there. It's it's easy to have. That's right. Okay? That's right. We're human. That's We're human, right. Okay. Things that's don't right. go your way. That's right. Sometimes you want to get a little revenge, okay? So but that's Sometimes why we have to walk in the spirit. <laughs> Sometimes the family don't know who you are when you get home. You don't you don't act so nice to everybody where you get home. They thought, is that mama or what what's she mad about? They afraid to say anything? But, <laughs> but you know, we ought to put on a light. In the book of Matthews, uh chapter five, verse fourteen through sixteen. That's the Matthew five. Uh, 14 through 16 out of King James Version. It says this. It says, ye are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A city that is set 
on a hill cannot be. See, if you when you walking with Christ, you can't be hidden, y'all. It's, it's a light. You, mm-hmm. you got a glow when you go out in the public. It said, need to do me and light a candle and put it on a bushel, but on a, on a candlestick, and it give it light unto all that are in the house. Wow, all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. See, we are to be a light in the world. We don't have to put on a mask. We can be mm-hmm. ourselves. It's, it's Christ has created us. Just be yourself. But when we start putting on a mask, trying to please this person, trying to please our parents, trying to please the people we work with, we get home, we don't even know who we are. So we have to you know, spend some time with Christ. Like, Christ, I want to surrender to you and be like you. So that when I go out in the public, my light will shine. I want to know who I am. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, to be a light, uh, to be that light, you have to be honest. You can't cover. And like I said, he didn't cover yeah. the sin, shall not prosper. You, you're not going to prosper if you cover. I don't care how it looks. I don't care how it seems. I don't care trying to impress somebody, or how you dress, how you carry yourself. You can st- It's going to see. That's right. It's going. People going to see it. It's a matter of time. They will see who you are. Uh, so we have to be very, very careful how we conduct ourselves and how we carry ourselves. You know, before men, we are that light. If we're going to be that light, then we have to be in the word, read and find out the instructions of what the word say. Jesus said it this way. He says, if any man would do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or or whether he speak of himself. He says, so he that speaketh of himself, uh, seeketh his own glory. You hear that? You speak of your own self, trying to cover, fix myself, or you mm-hmm. speak of your own glory. Yeah. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him, you know, Father, God, God Almighty, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in it. Amen. Wow. wow. You expose yourself. You got you're just gonna have to deal with it and you just confess it. Stop lying, stop covering. <laughs> right. mm-hmm. So, you know, we are the light of the world. You know, it can't be hidden. There's a story <clears throat> in the Bible. Uh, Matthew chapter 26, verse 69, uh, out of the Living Bible. Anyway, it's a story about Peter. You know, we all know how Peter, Christ told Peter, he said, Peter, you know, you're going to deny me. Peter said, oh, no, Christ, Lord, I, no, I would never deny you. He said, yes, you are. Yes, you are. When the, when the, when the crack crow three times, you're going to deny me. <clears throat> so, well, Peter, you know, he's like, no. But see, you cannot have the light. It's when you when the light is on, you cannot have it. See, Peter had been with Christ. He he walked with him, watched him teach and everything. So how many know it was on him? He, mm-hmm. It's in him, you know, he, he can't he can't hide it. So when right. Christ had started they started crucifying Christ, Peter, you know, they was they were scared then, you know, they wasn't ready for what was about to happen. Uh-huh. Peter, <laughs> oh some, some uh, the, 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 the girl came up to Peter and said, Aren't you? Aren't you one of the disciples? Oh, oh no! Mm-hmm. See, but you mm-hmm. couldn't. You can't hide it. Mm-hmm. You can't. Oh no, no, I, I don't know. There come another one up. You, you will follow you. You follow Christ. <laughs> do you? Oh no, 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 I, no! But see, you cannot hide it when you serve in the Lord. When you walk in the room, it's like a light. They know you. They know. They just know. Third time, Peter. Mm-hmm. Oh, they were standing around. They said, "Man, said, you are." Mm-hmm. You were the one of the disciples that followed Christ. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have no idea what you told. I don't even know the man. No, 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 no. Peter denied him just like mm-hmm. Christ told him he would do. But see, the point of the story is mm-hmm. he he had been with him. When you spend time with Christ, when you're mm-hmm. reading his word, you can't do nothing but be like, they're going to know who you're serving. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't understand sometimes when, you know, I go out sometime and I'm in the grocery store or something and Somebody come up to me and they hand me out a track. And I want to say, do you have any kind of discernment? You cannot tell that I serve Christ. But anyway, you know, I just go and take the track. I just go on, you know, anyway, praise God. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's uh it, it's amazing. It's the mask, that mask has got to come yeah, off, y'all. It's got it, to come off. When when you pull that mask off, it'll free you. That's right. It sure You'll will. be free. You know, there are some things that I have gone through that we have gone through, embarrassment to the yeah. flesh. Yeah. In order that there be life in us. 
And then our joy come up through confessing, through admitting, and like, well, I'm not all that. Everybody wants to be uh, number one. Everybody right. wants you to be, be look liked. at me. No, yeah. you, you want to be accepted like, but everybody's not going to accept you. You know, if you live for God and you do it God's way, there will be those that we receive and accept. There will also be those that will hate you. They will hate you and you, you're you going to be persecuted. Right? That's right. All that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Yeah. You're going to be persecuted That's if you right. stand for God. But it's okay. Could be of good cheer because Jesus says he have overcome. Right. Amen. As right. Christ said, it's time for the mass to come out. Right. <laughs> First of all, reason time for the mass to come. We're living in difficult times. <clears throat> and you need to know who you serve. Mm -hmm. And it's time to just, you know, time to surrender to Christ, time to do his will, because you need to know, you need to hear word from the Lord in this day and hour. You know, whether you should go to this grocery store, go here, go on vacation. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, right. you need mm -hmm. to know. And when you got this mask on, you know, and you don't even know who you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you can get all wrapped up in all this mess that's going on for, you know, you're in strife just because the media said they, they're doing something downtown. You, you find yourself going that way. But who are you? And then you come mm -hmm. back home. You want to mm -hmm. get your Bible and read. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, but you mm -hmm. need to know who you are. Take the mask off and get in the word. And say, Christ, here I am. I surrender to do your will. Mm -hmm. You may not want mm -hmm. to, but, you know, in this day and hour, you need a word from the Lord. You do. Okay. In uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, uh, the Apostle Paul said to the church in Corinthians, he says, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own yeah. selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobates. Right. And then you find in Galatians, the first chapter and verse 10, he said, for do I persuade men or a God? Or do I speak to please men? Mm. For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Wow. If you please men, mm -hmm. you, how in the world, you, you can't please the man. You just can't. Man is, everybody wants to be seen. I got, it's like, Lord, if I'm going to do your will, okay. I, I just got to let that go. I can't, this mess that is going on in our nation, and all this, I mean, uh, it's just chaos like you've never seen before. And if you're going to please me, and there's some that's things, right. it's like, I'm, well, I, I'm, I, I, I can't let them know that, that, that I voted for the president. Oh, no, I can't do that because it's going to make me stand out like a sword. To them. Indeed, it will. But who are you going to stand for? Are you going to stand for God? You know, if so be that that's what you vote for. I'm just saying that's up to you. I'm not telling you who to vote for or nothing like that. It's your business, okay? But in the word, do it God's way. What is he saying? Pray and ask him, Lord, you guide me. You show me. Because there is a way that really seems right. But the end of it will lead down to the road of destruction. Don't be surprised, okay? Trust God. He'll guide you. He'll show you. Amen. Mm. I want to uh, turn to the books of uh, Acts, uh, chapter 16, verse 17 through 19. Oh, out of the Amplified Version. Mm -hmm. My point in when I read this is that even the devil knows who you are. <laughs> yeah. Even the <laughs> devil knows. Somebody say, well, devil, don't say that word. Mm -hmm. Even the devil knows who you are. <laughs> so, you know, and it reads like this. She followed out the Paul as us and kept screaming and shouting. Okay, now, these men are servants of the most high God. So mm -hmm. she knew mm -hmm. she wasn't serving a God now, y'all. She was like a witch, whatever, in a way. <laughs> Super <laughs> whatever you want to call it. They are proclaiming to you the way of salvation. She continued doing this for seven to several days following. I know mm -hmm. that was aggravating. Mm -hmm. Then Paul, being greatly annoyed and, and, worn, and, worn, <clears throat> and worn out, Turn and said to the spirit inside her, I command you in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Come out of her, as mm -hmm. we said. Mm -hmm. And it came out of out of it at that very moment. But when her owners mm -hmm. saw that their hope of profit was gone, uh oh, mm -hmm. so they getting upset, they ain't getting no money because she's like, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them before mm -hmm. the authorities in the marketplace where trial were held. In other words, the devil know who you are, even too. Okay. Mm -hmm. She was mm -hmm. aggravating. They was going around trying to preach the word and tell people about being saved. And here she come. We know who you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I know who you are. 
Yeah, even the devil know who you are. I know who you are. I have, we have been out. They do. That's true. We have been out together sometime, and you know, I'm not saying they were in witchcraft, but they portray. They just look like they in witchcraft or something. I mean, I mean, you know, we'd be sitting there, they'd be just looking at us. <laughs> and I'd be saying, in the name of Jesus, we'll be shutting up. They'll be trying to put no spell on me, but in no way, hallelujah. <laughs> so the devil knew who you are too. So, you know, we, we got to get back in the word. Mm -hmm. We're living in perilous times. Mm -hmm. You know, let your light shine. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's <laughs> a, it's, you know, uh, life can be funny, you yes, know, how you look at it really. <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, the Lord showed me one time about these uh, these witches that don't <laughs> see. I didn't believe that that stuff was real. I didn't either. I really didn't. And the Lord showed me and he very loud and clear I heard him just as clear as as I'm sitting here talking to you all he said man of God have nothing to do with her and then he gave me a vision and showed me some things and I was like wow I didn't know that that stuff was really and I said wow but but you know in Christ we can do all things it's greater is he that is in you that is the word of God I hope of glory Jesus than he that is in the world. Amen. <laughs> so the point of the day is take your mask off. Just, <laughs> just be who you are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, serve the Lord. You don't have to go to work and act one way. You know, you don't have to go to church and act one way. And then you yeah. get home and church and like, yeah. who, is, yeah. who are we living with? Is this mama and mm -hmm. husband like, Think about getting divorced because he thinks this ain't the woman I married, you know, it's, it's just a mess. <laughs> but put the mask on and be yourself. Be like Christ. Mm -hmm. It's all about love. You know, we what this world needs now is love. Yes. 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 Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. And, and, and God is love. You must have it. Yes. God yes. is love. That's right. That First John says that God is love. That's right. And in him is no darkness at all. That's right. It's good. It's about him. That's no good. darkness. I used to think that that you know years ago. I used to think that uh, God's going to make you sick. He's going to put you in the hospital, and you're going to learn some things. And they're like, <laughs> what I learned that it wasn't God. They put me in the hospital. It was the devil. It was my flesh, my disobedience of doing or eating and things that I shouldn't have ate or. Living a lifestyle that I shouldn't have. That's what will put you in the hospital. God come to, he said, I come to bring you life. And that more abundant, more to the full. He said, it will, he, he said the very purpose that he came is that he might destroy the work of the devil. Sickness is, as God don't give that. He don't put that on you. He's about life. He come to pick you up. No darkness in him. Sin Sickness, sin. It's, but it, you you have to come to God and give him your life. Let him have it. Turn it over to him. Now you're talking about sweet. Is life, it'd be sweet. Sweet, and then you, you, know, you can lay down at night, sweet, sleep in the Holy Ghost. Sweet, you don't have to worry about the things that's going on, worrying about whether, oh, somebody going to bum my house, somebody going to shoot me, or what am I going to do? You can lay down and take your rest. Just as sweet can be. Because you're not in no fear. Because God has not given us the spirit of fear. But what he has given us is a spirit of, of power, of love, and of a sound mind. That's what God has given us. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Take the mask off. That's right. Man. Take the mask off. Take it off. Just be honest. Be truthful. That's right. Tell God, Lord, 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 I don't have that freedom like that. Be honest with you. I don't have that freedom. I want that freedom. I want to know you that way. Ask them. That's why he come. That's the price he paid. So it's there. It's, it's, it's available to whosoever. Whosoever will, let him come. Amen. 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 You know, it reminds me of a show that's something called The Mass Singer. <laughs> and they come out with this mask and they start singing. And you really don't know who they are. And everybody's trying to figure out, well, who are they? <laughs> and at the end of the show, you know, the, the one the, that the audience booted out, they have to take the mask off. Take the mask off. Everybody's like, whoa. Mm -hmm. They couldn't believe that's who it was. Well, you know, mm -hmm. let us not live a life that when, you know, when we take our mask off and we look in the mirror ourselves and 
people don't even know who we are and you know because we're one way at work and one way at home but mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. be yourself like again like i said take the mask off be yourself mm-hmm. as you used to be a, a, a story called the to tell the truth and there'd be three people standing up there and, and they would tell what they did and this. And when you didn't really know which was the, which was the right one, then all of the end they say, well, will the real John Doe please stand up? You know, they get ready and then the real one would stand up. So when, when you look in the mirror, which one are you? Are you a child of Christ? Are you, are you walking in the flesh? So, you know, it's just time. I just got to say it's time to get serious. We're living in difficult times and, you know, you're gonna have to need a word from the Lord, and you don't want to be out there with a mask on trying to act like somebody else, but be mm-hmm. yourself. Mm-hmm. Or you might say, Well, what's in it for me? <laughs> you know, if I do this, what's in it for me? Because you know, he that, scripture says that he that <laughs> saves his life, you try yeah. to save it, you'll lose it. But if you lose your, your life for Jesus' sake, for God's sake, for the gospel's sake, he said, You'll find it the life eternal. In the vision, the sixth chapter, verse five, he he, he says this, he says, servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service <laughs> as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man do it, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be born or whether he be free. Yeah, you will receive. So what's in it for you? And you you get life, life to the full. Just you know, in Matthew 6 33, he said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. And he said, I'll add all these things unto you. I'll see to it that you have food. I'll see to it you have water. I'll see to it you have clothes. I'll take care of you, but put him first. That's what Jesus said. Seek him first. So what's in it for you? Life more and better than what you can do it yourself. Amen? Amen.